It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Pantera. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate fighter on this UFC roster specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh! Got the single collar 
Ty. Punch over the top. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Watch knees to the body. Right punches there. Oh, he leads with a right punch there, so a little bit of deception now on the feet. He's mixing it up, not letting his opponent find a pattern in his fight style. Single collar tie now. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice head kick. Oh, Superman punch! Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick! Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, collar tie. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Beautiful body kick. Swatch the strike. What a tricky head kick. Oh, huge spinning kick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Collar tie there. Big kick lands. Relax, relax. Oh, big head kick lands. Left hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Huge block there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful strike. Oh, Superman punch is good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. He loaded up his body there, too. And they separate. There's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, man, head kick lands. Goes back to that left kick once again. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He is throwing his entire hip into his body shot. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice loop and punch. Big power shot there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Three minutes. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Lands a switch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch, man. On the top. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Shot to the body is blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Big leg kick land. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land the strike. The right hook to the body. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. to connect with the right hand there. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 20 seconds left. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Wow! Oh, straight right. Oh! How about those five minutes? it was Daniel Cormier you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that though with my luck I would try to push off because my foot would be slippery wet <laughs> or something I would fall right into a knee no I would not try that I don't have that ability I'm not that free 
inside the octagon. That was awesome. Really hurt him there. Okay, he's in trouble. There's no. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, see the collar tie now. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Back to the clinch, let's see what he does now. Lands a knee there, nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the slant exactly where you want it to. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Big kick lands. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he spells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at him drive his shin into the front of body with that body kick. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Big leg kick land. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. Just throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the Oh, he might be out. That whole kick, yep. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big head kick. Flipped with a left hand counter. That is how you scramble, folks. Nice kick. Wow! Oh, he might be out. to the feet now. Oh, big punch land. Sneaky head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Man, how good is his right hook count? Slips to avoid the right. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to chase that finish down now. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You've got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. 
see just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us out to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number three. To play the winner by so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.